Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is. This will be his first fight since moving down to this division. Now, you've heard him talk here during fight week. He believes his frame is better suited for this division. How did the weight cut go? The scale gave you some indication, but you really don't know. We'll see if he gets the desired result here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Both fighters are 28, with similar height and the same reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Monterey, Mexico, Hurricane. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? It's fine. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? Round one is underway. This will be his first fight since moving down a weight class. So he struggled with the weight here during fight week. Beat the scale. We'll see if it translates into a good performance here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And they separate. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Just unable to quite find that range. Under three minutes to go in round one. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Back to good position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. He got his 
foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. And he's out. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack, but he went low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy Fantastic. and also staying active. Both fighters back Hip to the season now. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these grounded pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's going to How's his opponent still safe? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Jeez Louise! All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout. Come back. Watch, right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get.